how did the sports icon Lions Club get started and just the idea of creating these NFTs around uh, around these top icons? Yeah, so um, so we've got sports icon um, that started probably last uh, June, July. The company was founded in August last year. And really it was founded with the thesis of bringing um, fans and super fans close to their sporting heroes and close to their sporting icons. Um, and how we wanted to deliver that was through the mechanism of NFTs. But we also wanted to build into it cinematic quality content. So by creating bespoke cinematic quality content with these athletes going direct to the athletes, um, not having to kind of deal with some, you know, the, go direct to the athletes and, you know, they're, they're the IP rights holders for, for themselves. Um, you know, showcasing their lives, their inspirations, um, you know, how did they make it in, in the sport that they are? What was their mentality like? Um, and, you know, display their skills and physical attributes on, on the court or, or, you know, wherever their place of work is as well. So, um, you know, to do that, we've got very top quality directors in. It's, it's you know, they're going to be cinematically filmed um, and that, you know, the delivery mechanism is nine chapters per athlete. Each chapter is broken down into a further three NFTs, um, and that will kind of that that's how it will be delivered to to the fans and to the community. Yeah. Cool. And then, so I know you're you're doing all this stuff for individual athletes and individual people, but then there's also the Lion Club. Is exactly. Two, two yeah. seven. The Lion Club's the oldest thing, if I'm not mistaken. How, no, the not, Lion Club is the the newest thing. It's the newest thing. So yeah. What what is sort of the difference for people that are are looking at at all of it? Yeah, so sports icon really is the the, the, the overarching element, and it's founded from uh, a, a love of sport um, essentially. So everything that we do is is for the love of sport and for the love of sports fans. Um, I've been brought, you know, I was, I'm half Greek, I'm half English. So I was born in, um, I was born in Greece, but I've grown up in England. Greece is predominantly a basketball loving country. England is football, or as we don't like to call it, soccer. Um, so, you know, I, I, I know the feeling of all these different sports in kind of very, very close, close hand and, and in different worlds, uh, different countries rather, we're all on the same planet. Um, so that was the overarching kind of uh, ambition of sports like and the, the, the lion club really uh, is a project that we brought in to bring um, an extra element of community into what we're doing an extra element of utility um, and just to bring more people into this just to create a wider community uh, in the nft space with sports really because sports fans um, you know we're a close-knit community as well even though every now and then we might fall out with teams that that we might not get on get with, we I all love the sport, and most people love lots of different sports as well. So, but we, yeah, I, I mean, the utility part of us, part of it, is really important to us. So, um, yes, there will absolutely be utility in the sports icon, this bespoke cinematic film stuff that we that we produce as our kind of icon drops, the journeys of the athletes. But as well, we wanted to bring even even more utility, and that is also a cornerstone of, of the Lion Club. And so on uh, on Tuesday, just gone, um, Chris and I met with six Lion Club holders who had won a um, basically a, a raffle, a competition you know, to come and watch the England international game at Wembley uh, in a box. It was the first time we'd met them. Um, yeah. And it was just absolutely incredible to meet to meet some of the community face to face on the first of November. Um, so I will be in, in New York that week. Chris is the other co-founder, and fifteen um, Lion Club NFT holders will be watching uh, the Knicks play the Raptors at Madison Square Gardens from 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 one of the Lexus suites there. So it's that kind of utility that we want to bring into it. There's more Cup Finals coming next year. There's Super Bowls. There's a World Cup. There's a lot more coming from us. Absolutely. Makes sense. I love that. You know, one of the things that I, I always say for people who are 
you know, just getting into NFTs and, and really don't know much is look for the projects that have utility, because mm. if it all goes to zero, at least you still have that. Right. Yeah. And as we know, you know, 99% of projects don't work out. Um, but, you know, the 1% that do are the, I mean, the craziest things that you see written about in the New York Times and, and everywhere, like the punks of the world and, and some newer projects that actually have good teams behind them and um, are actually providing utility. I think one of the big things that utility says too is that the team is investing in the project longer term. They're willing to put some of the money that they're getting from it back into the project because yeah. they think that that will fuel it long term. So I think utility, apart from like the actual utility aside, having utility speaks very, very well on behalf of those NFT projects.